All right, all right. Aaron Oppel, operations manager, Gravel City Adventure and Supply Company, your foremost outfitter for all things Unbound Gravel, Flint Hills Gravel, 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 Gravel. All right, let's get into it. This part three series is, is digging into conditions, um, which can vary widely. Uh, there's plenty of people who have written. Uh, it, is, it is well documented in the lore of this race that conditions can go from one end of the spectrum to the other. Um, what I can tell you that we've been seeing thus far this year is wind. Uh, I know that that sounds crazy. We're in Kansas. I don't even really believe that I'm telling you all of this because it's, it's kind of an obvious, but it seems like this year we have had more consistent days with winds above 20 to 30 miles an hour than we have in any spring uh, in the last few years. So. If I was to make an early prediction, I think it's gonna be a windy year, but we're still a month, you know, a few weeks out, so that could change. Uh, we haven't had a ton of rain, so mud hasn't been a huge issue. There have been a couple of events in the area that have come across mud. The, the thing that I think I wanna get across is you need to kind of be prepared for everything. Having a light jacket uh, inside of your, your bag is always a good idea for adverse rain conditions and things like that. I like to keep, I know it sounds ridiculous, a shower cap inside of my half frame bag because I can put that over my helmet and keep my head quasi dry comparatively to where I, I might have been if I didn't have it. Um, you know, wind, the biggest thing that I can advise there is just get down in those drops. Uh, get down and get low. Um, a lot of people are also using what have traditionally been called aero bars. There is an aerodynamic advantage to using those bars, but we here in the Flint Hills, with our gravel riding, our adventure riding, our bike packing, we like to call those comfort bars. Uh, because the fact of the matter is, just leaning over, stretching your lower back out, uh, resting your elbows, your wrists, your shoulders, um, there's a lot to be said, especially when it's windy. If you can get yourself down lower, you can rest yourself uh, in that leaned over position. That's gonna be very, very helpful. I think the single biggest thing that people are scared about in any gravel event is gonna be mud. And the biggest piece of advice that I can give you for mud is just make sure you're doing a good job if you are stopping or if it's getting clogged up enough, really clean everything out. Don't half-ass the, the clean out, full asset. You gotta put all of your might into cleaning. And there's a few tools that can make that easier. We have all heard about the paint stick. That, that is obviously uh, one of the best tools because it's made of wood. It's not gonna scratch carbon. It's not gonna ding up metal. You can get in there, you can scoop things out, you can scrape tires off. This is a great little, little tool. The other thing that has become very popular, Park Tool makes this, this fantastic little tiny brush it's a brush on one side and it's got a serrated series of plastic teeth on the other side to kind of get in to pulley wheels, cassette uh, cogs, all sorts of little spaces. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, definitely for $5, can't go wrong with that. One of my personal favorites and one less commonly known tool, uh, chopsticks. I would highly suggest going to your local Chinese food restaurant and not only purchasing some delicious Chinese food, but grab a couple uh, pair of the cheap chopsticks that they give you, a couple extra pair. These are fantastic to throw in your bag because they're a completely different shape than the park tool tool or the paint stick. They're thin, they're wood, they're circular, they're great at poking and cleaning uh, chopsticks. This is, this is next level mud cleaning on the gravel bike. These, these are indispensable. Get yourself a pair of chopsticks. Mud, not so much fun. Wind, not so much fun. Heat is another one of those, those battling, those, those hard condition things that we come across. When it comes to heat, the biggest thing, and wind and mud, all of these things combined, a huge piece of advice that I can get you is plan the sections of the race based on time, not on distance. You might have tailwind the first 50 miles and be flying down the road, but at some point you're gonna have to turn back into that. And that means that that next section, maybe of the same distance, could take you twice as long with the conditions that are getting ready to, to come out in front of you. There's a huge difference between planning your water for a distance that requires this much water on a normal day, but then 
on race day with the wind and maybe the other conditions, this much water actually getting you to the next checkpoint. Water is a commodity. It's a big deal out on the course. The other thing that I would say about water, never ever use water in your water bottle to dump over your head or wet the buff or whatever you've got around your neck. This water is for drinking. You can find creek water, you can find pond water, you can find little areas of water that are not drinkable, but are still soothing if you need to cool your body down. Always drink the water that's in your bottles. Find water that you can soak clothing in or that you can refresh yourself with. Don't waste drinkable water. Last but not least, uh, I think the biggest thing that I can do is just encourage you. You can do this. Unbound Gravel is an incredible experience and we are really looking forward to hosting all of you here in Emporia, Kansas. I am a resource. Use me. Use Isaac here in the shop. Use the incredible team of mechanics that we have coming in uh, to support us during the race week and support you during the race week. We're gonna have a stellar crew here. We're gonna be able to fix pretty much everything uh, that comes in. Uh, I will say, as we all know, parts are limited. So prior to the event, try to avoid breaking anything because it might be hard to get a hold of it. But do know, we've been hoarding parts, we've been hoarding tires. So we've got stuff here uh, if you need to make a planned purchase. Feel free to call ahead. We can absolutely reserve things for you. Uh, we can reserve a time to repair your bike. Uh, if you need your bike uh, assembled and boxed and shipped and all that, we have those services here at the shop. Gravel City Adventure and Supply Company, like I said, your foremost outfitter for all things gravel, all things Flint Hills, all things unbound gravel. Hit us up, we're here, you can do this. Looking forward to seeing you the first week of June.